Hey guys, Ryan Earnhardt here from creativesoundlab.tv. Well, I want to show you a technique today that will allow you to hear compression even if it's a very small amount. In fact, you can hear compression using this technique even if it's not registering on the meters. You can hear any amount of compression. It's really pretty cool. Stick around. Okay, so I had been uh, uh, kind of coming up with this technique out of necessity. I uh, was doing some remote uh, kind of logging into my computer, doing some editing or, um, you know, kind of loading in plugins, just some random stuff. And I wanted to kind of do some rough mixes from home with the remote login, but I couldn't see my stereo bus compressor. I'd actually left it on. So I was able to send signals out, but I couldn't see the, the compressor. So I could just only, you know, guess how much I was compressing. If I slammed it by, you know, I can't adjust the threshold, but I could send more to the outboard compressor. And by doing that, it would compress more. So it was kind of like a, a fake threshold. So I couldn't see the compressor but I could throttle it by sending it more to compress more or less signal to compress less. The trick was is, well, how much am I really doing? Couldn't see it. In fact, it's kind of hard to hear, like especially if it's real subtle. So what I figured out is kind of a cross between a, a null test and kind of the process of balancing outboard in and out signals. Um, it's really pretty cool. And it's, you know, I, I don't know if it has application for mixing necessarily, but it's a great way to learn your equipment if you're not sure what it's doing. Like the old uh, DBX-160Xs, for example, I've heard people say that the meters are just lying to you. You know, it's actually compressing before it shows that it's compressing, right? And in this case, we're going to see that this crim compressor is actually kicking in and the needle's not really even moving, you know? So it's a pretty cool technique. Here's how it works. So what we do is we have our mix here. It's just a rough mix up and playing around with. And we're going to send it out to the outboard. And here's the return coming back in. Now, what's cool is this plugin has a built-in polarity flip. And it has a mix knob dry and wet. So what we're going to do is we're going to flip the polarity on the return signal and we're going to try to mix it so that it's about 50-50 wet and dry. However, just like a null test, it's not going to cancel out. In fact, it's going to be dynamically canceling out because we're applying dynamics. So it's going to have like a gating sound to it. Okay, It's going to kind of cut in and out and it's going to be very obvious that something's different with the dynamics okay a lot of times we might think of a null test as uh okay is is like a like a conversion you know changing the tone or something like that or does a piece of outboard like how much does it change the tone but here we're using it to expose dynamics okay so you know, maybe I can kind of find the sweet spot on the re return signal that's out of phase so that it, it just starts to cancel out at the peaks. And when it does that, we'll hear some gating. Or if it goes above, then it's going to be allowed through because it's not canceling. But maybe the sustain, as it ducks down, the sustain will cancel instead. So there's a couple different ways to do it. We just kind of feather the the basically the volume uh, coming back in, basically just level matching, okay, to get kind of a null test scenario. But it's not going to level match because the dynamics are different coming back in. Check this out. If you want some answers, and you need a friend, you've been calling the doctors. Well, of 
Rockstar. So we can we can hear that you know it's canceling out it's kind of a gated like effect. Let me just kind of uh, roll it back here. Okay, so that's that's the effect. Let me actually roll the threshold so that it's not doing any compression, and you'll hear the difference. Okay, so that right there, it's wanting to cancel out mostly. Okay, it's time aligned everything. It's just about canceling out. But when we add compression, we're going to hear it and it's going to be create like a gating like effect so we're literally hearing the movement of the needle basically the 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 movement of the compression let me show you the compressor in your pockets spin and now the jump is a nice okay i'll slowly uh take up the threshold so it compresses basically down to nothing and you'll hear it even out the nice one cuz you cold and you're tired the wounds never made Yeah, so the gain structure is a little bit different. I have to actually kind of adjust it in two spots, but um, you know, it cancels out better, slightly uh, you know higher mix um, when it's compressing, and then when it's just straight up nulling, no compression, I have to kind of turn it down. But you can hear the difference. Okay, so let's see if uh, if if we can tell um, like super small amounts. Okay, super small amounts of compression. If you want it so and you're needing a friend, you've been calling the doctors, cause the pain never ends. You're lost and you're broken, searching around, saying which way is the right way, whenever we're looks down. Okay, do you hear that? Okay, I want to play it for you again. I want to pause and I'll raise the threshold. Okay. If you're down to your last smoke, and your pockets spin, and now that you're wanting, is a nice one, babe. Cause you're cold and you're tired. The wounds never made.
okay, so I have kind of a mix, and then, you know, I can, you know, adjust the threshold. The threshold really doesn't matter. The fact is, is that you can hear it. When that needle, when that needle moves, you can hear it, okay? It's, it's very obvious, especially in those punches, you know, those eighth note punches. It's really obvious, especially at the, the high ratios and stuff. So, I mean, this is, this is really cool. I mean, we're talking about bus compression here. Some of the stuff can be kind of tricky. These compressors are designed to be super smooth. And, you know, we can clearly hear what the compressor is doing. So let me show you how to do this completely in the box. Uh, let me just um, uh, get the mix kind of back to normal here. It's Sunday, so you're gonna break right through. Okay, that'll that'll be close enough. Um, so let's see here. Let's go to the vocal, and let me show you how that would work on vocal. If you want some answers. You're needing a friend. So all, all we have to do to do this technique is take something, copy it, and flip the polarity on one, and it should cancel out. Yeah, nothing. Okay. So that's good. So now, if we want to hear the compression, uh, we got to add the compressor in, but we should level match, okay? So let's let's go ahead and level match. If you want some answers and you're needing a friend, you've been calling the doctors, cause the pain never ends. You're lost and you're broken, searching around. Saying which way is the right way whenever where looks fine. Okay, so that's that's level match because I can kind of hear that gating effect starting to occur. So we actually can hear it. I mean, it's it's like I, I can't even really set up the technique without actually showing um the technique in action. So here's it a little higher ratio. If you want it some answers and you're needing a friend. You've been calling the doctors Cause the pain never ends You're lost and you're broken Searching around Saying which way is the right way Whenever where looks down Yeah, pretty cool If you're wanting some answers And you're needing a friend You've been calling the doctors yeah, so we can hear it kicking in. And it may not be, you know, canceling out the loudest stuff. Depending on how we have the volume set, it might be set to cancel out the lower volume stuff, right? We have to kind of match it to, to hear what we want. If you want it some answers, and you need in a friend. So it sounds like it's canceling at the lower level stuff, letting the higher stuff through. So So what, maybe a little lower? Friend. You've been calling the doctors. Cause the pain never ends. You know, let me actually go to uh, lower ratio, softer knee, and maybe go to the fader for this. If you're wanting some answers and you're needing a friend, you've been calling the doctors because the pain never ends. You're lost and you're broken, searching around, saying which way is the right way whenever where looks down. If you want it, some answers and you're needing a friend, you've been calling the doctors 
Cause the pain never ends. Yeah, there we go. So we can hear that it's definitely changing. I mean, it's like very, very jerky sounding, right? It's that gated effect. So again, I mean, this is not going to help you necessarily mix a track. However, if you want to know if something's really different, and it's not just a null technique with tone. This is with dynamics, and this is to hear actually the envelopes of your dynamic processing. Really, really pretty cool, okay? Especially when the meters don't even show up, okay? Like, I mean, here on the on the plugins, you know, I have, uh, uh, you know, a lot of compression going on here. But, you know, on the outboard stuff, you know, stereo bus compression, it's very, very subtle. And this actually can be kind of a handy, kind of experimental tool to allow you to really hear what's going on with your equipment. So, I don't know what you can do with this, but now you can hear the slightest amount of compression, flip the polarity back, and you'll have like a 50-50 mix of the wet and dry, and uh, yeah, I think you understand. Let me know if this doesn't make sense. Um, yeah, I think this is pretty cool. Okay. <laughs> I'll see you. Bye.